Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Porcupine's Pie. Porcupine prickled with excitement. It was fall feast day. Her mouth watered as she opened her pantry. One stick of butter, two handfuls of sugar, and three scoops of flour. In a pail, she had a pile of rosy red cranberries. Just the right ingredients to make her famous cranberry pie. Porcupine read her recipe. Step one: wash the cranberries. She stepped into her favorite boots and waddled down the path toward the river. Porcupine stopped to rest at the base of Squirrel's oak tree. Squirrel, Porcupine called, "Are you making your famous nut bread for fall feast day?" Squirrel poked her head out of her nest. No, it's just plain nuts for me this year. Bread needs flour, and I have none. Don't look so sad, Squirrel. I have flour to spare. Squirrel scampered down the tree trunk. Really? Oh, thank you, Porcupine. The flour's in my pantry. Help yourself. Porcupine continued toward the river. When she waddled by Bear's cave, she called, "Bear, are you making your famous honey cake for fall feast day?" Bear lifted his nose from a book. No, it's just plain honey for me this year. Cakes need butter, and I have none. Butter, you say? How much do you need? Only half a stick. I have butter back in my den. Help yourself. Bear dropped his book and nearly gave Porcupine a hug. Thank you, Porcupine. As Porcupine neared the river, Doe's thicket came into view. Doe. Porcupine called, "Are you making your famous apple tart for fall feast day?" Doe gracefully stepped out into the trail. "No, it's just plain apples for me this year. Tarts need sugar, and I have none. I'd be happy to lend you some sugar. Help yourself." Doe's bright eyes widened. "Porcupine, thank you. You have made this a very special fall feast day." At the river, Porcupine looked inside her pail. Oh no! She gasped. Her pail was empty. Knock, knock, knock. Porcupine, are you making your famous cranberry pie for fall feast day? No, Porcupine answered. It's just plain pie crust for me this year. I lost my cranberries, and now I have none. She opened the door. Doe, squirrel, and bear. Had their famous culinary creations in one hand and an offering in the other. Leftover nuts, said Squirrel. A dribble of honey, said Bear. A few extra apples, said Doe. And a handful of cranberries, said Bear. I could just hug you, Porcupine beamed. If I can't make my famous cranberry pie, there's nothing better than a festive friendship pie. The end. Caring is sharing. Thank you for listening. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.